Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachah, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. Shalom to the one third men, women, and children who believe in this word being taught unto them. It's your brother Amna wa Allah. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled, uh, Well, it's either going to be more reason to bring in draconian measures or we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Obviously, as you may know, um, President Trump, well, the former US President Trump, was shot at. That is, you know, one of his uh, presidential campaigns over the weekend, okay? And um, make no mistake, this, this, was, uh, this was done by, you know, the shadow government that you don't see. And, uh, you know, this is, this is definitely, you know, it was all a part of the plan, okay? And, um, you know, you have many parallels, like you've got The Simpsons, you know, you've got a Simpsons episode... Uh, in regards to this You know I've been uh, Anticipating Donald Trump Being shot at for a while man Because obviously You know you had the You know you've got the Predictive programming With the Simpsons But then you've also got The Illuminati card game Which I'm going to get into here So I, I, I've got two of these pictures I want to show The first one is this one This is from the Illuminati card game Right It's actually a card game You know like You've got like Blackjack and What's the other card game Um so like I don't really I'm not really too good with all the names I, not many come to mind right now but I know like one card game for example that you have that people play is blackjack well this is like a, this is like one of those games but this is the Illuminati card game and on these game and on the card game they have like certain things that you know it's again it's a form of predictive programming it has certain events on there which are you know pretty much said to happen all right, so the, the first card I want to show is this one, Charismatic Leader. And you've got, uh, you've got a, an Edomite-looking dude with blonde hair, and he's the Charismatic Leader. Now, who would that? Who, who springs to mind when you take all of that into consideration? None other than Donald Trump. All right, he's that Charismatic Leader. He's the one that won the, heart, that, you know, won the hearts of the people, even before he was president, man. People used to worship him like he was a god. All right, so he's that Charismatic Leader. That, that is being spoken of in the Illuminati card game Alright So it says um, This card may be played at any time And count as, for, as the action for the group it affects The increased power takes effect immediately The power for one fanatic group is increased to six You've got that, that vibration of six right Link this card to your chosen fanatic group. No player may have more than one charismatic leader in play. And well, you can't have more than one. Well, Biden certainly, he ain't no charismatic leader. Okay. Now, the, the, the main card I wanted to show is this one right here. This enough is enough card. And what does it say? It says, at any time, at any place, our snipers can drop you. Have a nice day. So... What you had basically was a warning shot, okay? If this if this is not a staged event, all right, and this is a genuine threat, then what you had was a warning shot, man. But anyways, the point is this was predicted in a in a, a seemingly innocent Illuminati card game, man. This was predicted in a Simpsons episode, and now we're seeing this happen. So we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, but you see, what people need to understand is that, well, firstly, now that this has happened, you know, it, it, it would be a surprise if Donald Trump doesn't win the election. You know, it, it would be a genuine surprise if you don't win, because now this has happened, you won the hearts of the people, and, you know, people ain't really looking to Biden as a, as a, as a leader, especially now that things are so shaky, you know, in the world, like you got the, the the threat of war and things of that nature. You know, you need you need a proper leader, man. All right, and and Donald Trump just ain't wearing them shoes right now. Now let's keep it real. But this is gonna justify more draconian measures. 
okay this is going to justify and you know we already had that that crossbow <laughs> situation happen here in the uk all right so all these events coming together you know it really i might even title this order out of chaos or new world order out of chaos because out of all this chaos that is ensuing out here on the world stage well then comes the order and what's going to be the order the new world order so let's bring out the scriptures because we ain't ignorant of, of, of Satan's devices, all right, and scriptures are just flowing to the mind. So, why do you how about Shimia Shai? This is 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, and it reads, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We are not ignorant of his devices, man. We we, we, we know what time it is, we, we, know, we know what Satan be on, you know, and he's trying to create that civil war, that civil unrest, you know, which that that's going to turn the people against each other. And, and we already know, man. Let's hold uh, Matthew 12. <clears throat> this is the book of Matthew, chapter 12, and verse 26. Let's start 25. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. All right? A kingdom divided against itself is always going to fall, man. And America, and even just the NATO and the EU, they're extremely divided right about now, man. Okay? That's what time it is. Alright? It says, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. And that what you had uh, uh, over the weekend was Satan tried to assassinate Satan. You know? It was an alleged, you know, Edomite sniper. All right, and Donald Trump was, of course, an Edomite, you know. So, and 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 you know, the the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan are the Edomites, the so-called white people. Okay, so it says, and if Satan cast out Satan, he's divided against himself. How then shall his kingdom stand? Well, you got Satan divided against Satan when it comes to to, to uh, um, you know Russia and, and and the Americas, man. Russian, you know, the Russians are Edomites, the Americans are Edomites. So there's division. The on all angles man so you already know man that it's getting ready to go down okay the most high hey man what does it say in psalms 119 and 126 it, is, it says it is time for thee o lord to work for they have made void thy law all right they've made void the law of the heavenly father and it's time for the lord to work now man and the, um, hey man we we, we <laughs> if there's something we can agree on we can agree on the fact that the Lord most certainly is working, man. These prophecies are coming to pass. Alright? Let's hold Isaiah 19. <clears throat> Isaiah 19 on 1. The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence at the heart of and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Now, who are the modern-day Egyptians? All right, the, the, the Edomites, man. You know, they're coming in that spirit of Egypt, you know, that, 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 that same oppressive bondage spirit. Okay, so they're the modern-day Egypt, man. All right, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. This is what we see going on right now. Okay, so this is all prophecy, man. And they shall fight... Everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. Now that right there is what you call civil war. Now we just had that movie title being released not long ago called Civil War, man. Predictive programming? I believe so. Alright, so these devils, man, these wicked elites, the shadow government, they know exactly what they're doing, man. They know they know exactly what strings to pull, what card to play in order to bring forth uh, their new world order, man. But they, the, the, the Heavenly Father is only going to allow them to get so far. Okay? You know, the, the, in Job 14 and 5, it says how he has set bounds that he cannot pass. Alright? The Heavenly Father set those bounds. This is Job 20 and 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Straits meaning, you know, a position of difficulty, man. Esau is not going to have an easy time bringing forth his new world order all right every hand of the wicked shall come upon him the wicked the, the hebrew word for wicked here is i mal which is the workers the laborers you know your, your average joes who are you know working their asses off 
and they're getting nothing out of it, man. Okay. That's that's who it's talking about. They they're gonna come up against you. Alright, because they're, 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 they're going to catch wind of the fact that they've got an unfair deal going on right here. Alright. It says in verse 23, when he's about to fill his belly, all right, when he's about to, you know, pretty much say we did it with his new world order and, and you know, deem himself successful. When he's about to fill his belly, right, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him. While he is eating Okay So that's what's up man That's that's what time it is Okay That's what's getting ready to happen out here man Alright The most high is about to rain it upon him While he is eating man Meaning that when when You know When when he's about to You know You know you got that nice Home cooked food That slow cooked lamb You know And then you know You're, you're, you're chopping it up with a knife and fork Ready to take that first bite you know, you haven't even tasted it yet. You're just, you know, the fork is just about in your mouth, and then the whole plate, the fork, and everything get wiped. You just get whacked out of your hands, man. Whacked off the table, and 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 you know, that's that, man. Well, that's what's gonna happen to Esau Edom's kingdom when he's about to, you know, deem himself a success in bringing forth his new world order. That's when the Most High is gonna cast the fury of his wrath upon him, man. Okay, so all these things are happening real fast for. Uh, you know Because this devil knows that, that He ain't got much time left man Alright The elect are waking up You're seeing You know The different signs in the heavens You know Things are happening man So so Esau he, He's moving in haste Which is why You know He's not He's not really thinking These things through And, and people are clocking on To his pattern man Alright So this is Revelation 12 and verse 12 and it reads therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time all right this devil knows that his time is almost up the gig is almost up man all right for he knoweth that he hath but a short time Right, there's no doubt about it, man. Look, look at everything that's going on around the world, man. The world events, are, you know, measured out the times diligently. Second Edges 9. How do we measure the times? By way of prophecy. Okay. Um, Second Edges 13 and 31. And it reads, And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another One people against another Alright, doesn't that sound like civil war? And as I said, they literally released that movie Not long ago, man So they're letting you know what time it is Because you see, Esau Edom likes to prophesy On the left-hand side as well So he'll, he'll, he'll put stuff in the video games In the movies And, you know The, the, you know, the, the card games even You know, because that's, that's Esau basically Prophesying on the left-hand side Alright so it says um, and, then, and then one realm against another Well that's going to be That's Revelation 12 and 7 right there When Yahweh Shai and the angels Are fighting against You know the military fighter jet planes Of, of, uh, of Esau Edom man Okay so that's, what, so that's what's getting ready to happen man Alright This is what's getting ready to happen But we're not ignorant of Satan's devices We know that That you know That, that thing that we saw happen with Trump That's just going to justify Bringing forth those draconian measures, man, and 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 the people are just gonna fall right into it, okay, and are just gonna play into the hand, but that's okay, all right, because you know this this you know every day, man, we're one day closer to our kingdom being established, man, and the downfall of this kingdom. You know there ain't gonna be no joint rulership, man. This, this kingdom uh, is gonna have to be destroyed, all right, and. Uh, in order for our kingdom to be established, man. And that's prophecy. This is Daniel 2. And, uh... 
we can start at 40. It says, and the fourth kingdom, which is this kingdom that we're in now, though, the fourth kingdom is the, the ancient Rome. Well, we have, we would have been the ancient Roman Empire, and then now, you know, the, the modern Roman Empire, which is ancient Roman Empire revived. You know, the four kingdoms you got the you got the Babylonian Empire, the Medo Persian Empire, the Greek Empire, then the Roman Empire, and in this now we're in the, the second leg of the Roman Empire. Okay, so, um and the fourth kingdom shall be as strong as iron for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things and as iron that breaketh all these shall it break in pieces and bruise and that's what's happened to this kingdom this kingdom is systematically being broken in pieces man all praises to you by Hashem all right and whereas thou sawest the feet and toes part of potter's clay and part of iron the kingdom shall be divided but there shall be in it of the strength of iron for as much as thou sawest that i am mixed with miry clay and as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken and that's exactly what we see happening with babylon the great it is partly broken and it's partly strong okay the nato and the eu are divided the american citizens are divided there is division on all on all uh planes man okay so this is biblical prophecy playing out right here and that's beautiful all right it says and whereas thou saw that i am mixed with miry clay they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men but they shall not cleave one to another even as iron is not mixed with clay and in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom okay which shall never be destroyed and this is the kingdom that's getting you know that's being made ready right now the kingdom of heaven the, 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 yeah, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai which us being joined heirs with Yahweh Shai makes it the kingdom of Israel by default beginning with the elect okay um, it says And the kingdom shall not be left To other people But it shall break in pieces And consume all these kingdoms And it shall stand forever This is talking about the kingdom of Israel The kingdom of Yahweh Shai Our kingdom man Our kingdom is going to stand forever man Okay So right after So we're in the fourth, the fourth kingdom right now Pursuing to Daniel's statue all right? And right after that is going to be This eternal kingdom in which we're going to be ruling okay isn't that beautiful man okay let's read uh, 44 again and we're going to close on this man and in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall not be left to other people but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever man okay that's what we have uh, waiting for us man You know Plenteousness is made ready for us man I have not seen Nor ear heard The things which the heavenly father Have prepared for those That wait for him man Alright So that's why we just gotta suffer patiently man We have an eternal kingdom To look forward to man No other nation No other people Can make that boast But Yasha Allah man The elect of Yasha Allah That you know That we have an eternal kingdom waiting for us man okay and 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 look we, we have a heavenly father who who's standing on his word man you know his words are coming to pass man the lord is standing on business man he said he was going to do this and he was going to do that and guess what that's exactly what's happening man prophecy is playing out out here you know let's bring out one more scripture man just one more this is the book of zephaniah 3 and then I'm going to show up that the, the card game again. Uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8. And it reads, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured uh, with the fire of my jealousy. All right? So the Lord is the one that's assembling all uh, uh, the, the, the kingdoms, man, 
to pour upon them his, his, his fierce anger, man, his indignation, his righteous anger. All right. And we're, we're, we're just we're just, you know, reading the scriptures. You know, we've got the popcorn up and we're just sitting back watching the, the, the prophecies unfold and the Lord bring forth his will, man. OK, and that's beautiful. OK, so, yeah, let's start with this one again. The charismatic leader, blonde hair, Edomite looking dude, Donald Trump. OK, and then you got enough is enough. This card here and it reads what it says here is exactly what it says here, by the way. At any time, at any place, our snipers can drop you. And you, man, look, Donald, look, that, 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 that shit, man. <laughs> you know, if you, if you just almost lost your life, right? And you, you know, you're moving, you know, you're, you're trying to get into your concierge, get into your car to, to, to duck the situation safely. You ain't going to be there pausing and putting your hand in the air and being all like, you know, trying to act all like hero, he heroic, man. But that goes to show you the pride of these devils, man. But man, don't be surprised if, if that, that shit was were, were, were staged, man. Okay. You know, but, but yeah, this is it, man. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Oh, one more scripture, man. Uh, one more scripture. Ecclesiasticus 5 and 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or, or a small. All right, so we ain't ignoring this, man. This shit ain't just going to fly by, man. We're going to be all over it, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I pray, Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying. And until the next time, I say shalom.